Hello and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We have a choice of options for today's video. I kind of want to check out this room of a requirement thing because we've got a couple of items of clothing. Apparently it will be revealed what they are there. It also means we get to meet with Professor Weasley again and it's been a while since we've seen her. I also want to finish off the uh, Professor Sharp's assignment. It says acquire and use focus potion. Well, we acquired one in the last episode. It also says acquire and uh, Maxima and Edredus, Edred, Edorus potions and use them simultaneously and we've acquired those as well. So we could down all of those potions and see if that would unlock the next thing of that. But we will do that after we have been to this one here. So let's check out where we need to go. Head over there and see if we can uh, yeah, get the next level of our journey underway. And there's two things. Oh, this map is so useless. <laughs> Good map system, bro. There it is. I suppose it's very difficult to have a 3D map with a building with so many different floors and staircases in it, but it's 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 not a good map. Right, where well, we go in little uh, little thing? Going this way, guys. To the room of requirement. It's on the seventh floor corridor, I believe. I think that's what they said. Something like that. Wasn't hundred percent paying attention. Yes, I believe it would be behind this painting of trolls dancing in their tutus. Is there anything around here before Rebellion. I go through? There was a ting. Incendio. That looks like something I can... Uh... Nope. Guess not. All right, we'll just, we'll just start this mission then. Professor Weasley? She's behind you in the room of requirement, dude. Somewhere away from prying eyes. There we go. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me, and I... Merlin's beard. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. I mean, I put that down as politeness, but I think I'd be the same, yeah? You go in first into this weird magical room that's just appeared from nowhere. That's kind of dark. You're the headmistress, or deputy headmistress. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Lumos. Uh, where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Don't worry, Professor. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach Ooh. you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. No problem. Ooh, it's a wibbly wobbly one. Okay, so here we go. We did it, Buzz. Devonesco. Okay, so now I need to equip this to one of my wheels. Uh, how do I? There we go. I want. I'm going to equip it to this one. Which one was it? There. So we will equip that one to. I think. X for now. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. 
No problem, bud. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall ah. discuss its uses later. Yeah, Let's move I've on. I've got a bunch of Moonstone, actually. I've been collecting it, miss. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Bit of paper on the floor, miss. Is that... Hey, I waited here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to meet again. Sincerely, T. Can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Thanks. Yes, Professor. Can I go a little bit faster than this? There we go. Oi. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Venezco. I get Moonstone for disappearing things? That seems a little bit uh, vicious. Right, okay, this was a pull it back and move it about job so that I can get up to places. So I'll be able to jump on that and get up there. However, there's a cup of tea here. Rebellion. Mind if I do? Uh, is that a Evanesco? It is. Okay, oh, there's many places to go in the room of requirement. And I guess that's the way we come back down from up there. So let's go up there first and we'll go around the corner. Give me the money chest. Got a new school robe. It's just what I always wanted. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Be fine. Revelio. Could possibly go wrong. No, not that's Lumos. Okay you, worthless pile of tin. Just chop the hedges a bit. Does that actually give me anything for doing that, or is it just a uh, for fun? No, it doesn't. Okay. Just the toilet. I defended the room I thought oh, I needed to bath. <laughs> Cheeky thing. It's nice. <laughs> Maybe you should wash a bit more, bro. Mm, floated lanterns. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Aha. Revelio. Nope. Can't do anything with it, but it is a harp. Can I? It appear to be at a dead end. Or not. That's weird. There was stuff over there. Ah, there we go. You don't know. Was, was that a golden stitch? I didn't see nothing. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Who said that? Was it? Akio. Get out of the way. I need to go through there. But first, in this globe. Okay, I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. So let's go under here first. See if there's any. Sneaky little things around here I can get. Revelio. No, why did it let me in here then? If there's there's nothing to do in here. Huh. Why? What what for? Hmm. Do I need this to stand on anything? Get up anywhere? Doesn't feel like I do. That's a bit odd. Okay. I feel like I can hear some. Oh, I thought it was the snitch. I could hear it's that thing spinning. Revelio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Akio. I won the bag. Give me the bag. How do I get up to that? That kind of looks like climbable stuff. I wonder if I could park all my way up there if I had that box. Hey, box. Got a job for you, bro. Oh, can't take it that far. Okay. Boo, stupid magic box. Ooh. Is 
There he is. There's the house elf. We found him. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deed will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, Can I bring uh, so Professor Gallic here? Professor Weasley. Secret room for me and Professor Gallic, maybe? Will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke no, she said that already. in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. But really? You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Room full of you Professor Garlic. The rest. And that's about it. Didn't do what I wanted. This you room sucks, bro. Quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah! Oh! And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. So basically, we've been collecting like bits of furniture. And I was thinking, I wonder what that is. I and I mentioned, oh, maybe there's base building in this later on. I guess then this is uh, this is exactly that room where we're going to be putting our furniture and making it our home. Nice. Okay, so we figured out plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Sure, it will, Buzz. Okay, so let's check out our gear now that we have identified what it is and see if we can equip anything even better. No, that's totally junk. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Look, ooh, what's this? It's better and it has decreased damage with Defindo. Not that we've got that. It's got laceration, but that takes our defense up quite high, so we shall equip that. Nice. So we're starting to get things with traits now, which is good. And what have we got here? Wow. Okay. It's, that's a very nice scarf. Another 10 offense with that one. We shall take it. Although I want to make it disappear because it's ugly, bro. And I think I want to make the uh, that outfit disappear as well because that's ugly as well. Uh... I don't like any of these things. I guess that one, maybe. <laughs> what about robes? What have we got robes-wise? We've got this one now. No, we've got the best robe. Okay, good. Have we got any new wand handles? No. And have we got any broom upgrades available yet? No. Okay. Good. You told me you were going to tell me about Moonstone. I guess we'll sort that out in a moment. You're probably about to tell me that I can put bits of furniture in here that I found. Rebellion. 
I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. A conjuring spell. How convenient. Okay, let's do this. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Crafting. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. No problem, Buzz. Okay, we need our conjuring spell. Which uh, spell wheel are we going to put this one on? Let's put it on. Huh. Uh, put it on this one. I'm going to replace vanish. Put it on there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, missed wrong button. Okay, potions. Select items used to brew potions. Herbology. Utility. Okay, so we, we need potion station. We've got 82, 81 moonstone. It's only going to cost two. Small scientific potion, botanical potion station, eclectic potion station, or a gothic. Oh, so we get different. Oh, so it's just aesthetic again. Okay, so I, I think I'm going to go for scientific. Oh, and where do I put it? This place is currently occupied. Oh, I can just... Huh. I, wow, okay. Can I spin it around? Rotate object? I can. But I could pop it there. Huh. I'm assuming we'll be able to fast travel to the room of requirement, like, instantly later on in the game. Change colour. Wow, okay. They've, got, they've really gone overboard on the being able to do things in here. I think I'm going to go for the black aesthetic. It's got a bit of a steampunk vibe to that, so I'm going to go with that. Nice. Uh, I don't think I need to change the visual, visuals. Oh, I don't want to place two. Do I just press back, do I? Okay. What else can I place? A scientific potting table with a small pot. I place it. Can it go next to that? I got room here? Pop it down there? Okay, so there is a, there's a snapping system involved here. So I can't just put it anywhere. That's fine. We'll do that. We're going to change colour. We'll have that black as well. Well done. But it matches. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Nice. Assuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. We've got a desk of description, yet yeah, I can place another one. What's this? We've also got a Quidditch equipment shelf. A shelf packed with Quidditch equipment. We might as well have one of those. Not placeable in this space. Not placeable anywhere in this space. Object must be placed against a flat surface. Oh, I see. Can I place it behind that? No. Huh, okay. Well, I have our Quidditch stuff over here then. Oh, handy. Can I put it on that one? No, it's got to be on this one. So there's no uh, changing the colours on that one. Oh, we can change the size though. I didn't even see that. What else we got? We have scientific ornamental stand. Might as well have an ornamental stand, guys. Put one of these down uh, 
giant one or a tiny one? Let's have a ginormous one. Very useful for us. Can't put it there. Can I put it here? No. So is that line indicating the front? It is. Oh, and it, okay, so we're snapping with these other things. Right. Can I pop it down here? No. All right, let's just uh, let's stick it here. That'll do. And we'll change the color, make it black. Nice. What else we got? A telescope. Don't mind if I do. Let's have a telescope, guys. I have a telescope. Black one, please. Uh, and I want I want a really big telescope, bro. Right in the middle of the room. Nice. What else we got? We got any furniture? Got any seats or anything? No, no furniture. Okay, so we do have tables. We've got decorated scientific table. Wizard's chess table. Card game table. Gobstones table. Quidditch pitch table. Ah, nice. Ah, we'll have a decorated scientific table then. Pop that down. Oh, <laughs> make them really small. Really big, jeez. I don't think we quite need it that big. Normal size will be fine. Change color. We pop it down here. Just, just there. We had it there a second ago. There we go. Just there would be lovely. Nice. What else we got? And we've also got statues. Oh, so we can get a griffin, sta a hippogriff statue, a unicorn statue. Oh, we might as well have one. Why not? I think that's quite big. We'll have it small. Small. We'll put that there in front of the pillar. And we'll have a, uh, a horse statue. A small one, please. Not too small. That'd be ridiculous. Jeez, that could be massive. Maybe that should have gone in the middle of the room. Uh, I, I just have a very small one of those. Can I put that on top of this stand? No. Okay. Just put, pop it here. That's fine. Just, no, just there. It's perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. So there was a couple more things in the tables one. So we can have ourselves a wizard's chest table. Can't have a room without wizard's chest in it. So we'll pop this in the over here. Again, I would like that black, please. Perfect. And we we want a card game table. Play cards with my friends, guys. Again, black, please. Don't want yellow. Black, thank you very much. Perfect. And then we would like a gobstones table so we can play with the most unpopular girl in school. Black one. Got to all be matching. It doesn't look very black, but I guess it's probably the most matching one we've got. Nice. And I will have a Quidditch pitch table in... Oh, man, I should have left myself another corner free. I kind of want to move that uh, stand now so that I can put that there. Once I place them, can I move them? I don't know. Do I have to just disappear them? Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. No worries, Buzz. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I would. I'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. New quest open. Period decorating. Speak with Professor Weebly. I'm going to get an altering spell. Oh, good. I was hoping we might be able to change things because there's a couple of bits of furniture in here that's the wrong colour. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Got you some can buzz. It by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much do I need? Uh, 43 out of 50. Okay, we'll just vanish a couple of these things then. Um, which one was vanish? I think it's X. By chair. 
goodbye lamp goodbye mirror goodbye painting or the mirror yeah, get rid of all these paintings I know you're all alive inside the paintings but I don't want you I'm making a mess of my room I need the moonstone guys anything else I can delete uh, nope I uh, can't delete that okay good I should have enough moonstone now I have the moonstone you requested professor good then we may begin your lesson you can conjure more than potions and herbology tables conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking why don't you try it on the walls and floor okay trying on the walls and floor. I've already done that um okay fine oh oops I didn't mean to do that was that where's the undo button Oh, so we got access to more things now. Okay, rugs. Pop a rug down. Why not? Uh, I guess... Let's have a small rug for people to wipe their feet on as they come in. Oh, and there is a flame thing in here. I can't put it there. Okay. I put it there. There you go. Wipe your feet on the rug when you come in, guys. Okay, now we need a wall one. Oh, I just got rid of all these paintings. Niffler and Witch Portrait. That'll do. Put it on the wall, guys. Make it small. Just there. Perfect. What else we got now, then? So we got chairs. Don't need a chair. But even more tables. Jeez. Small scientific wizard's chest. Small scientific... Oh, uh... Okay. So we, we did get rid of our scientific table. I guess we don't actually need that. What else we got here? Decorations. We've got some more, more of these. We've got standing lights. Okay. And more wall hangings. We've got mirrors, Quidditch equipment shelf. We've already done all of that. So I guess we can go back to her now and tell her we've done it. Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes. I don't have any questions after all. Actually, I don't think I have any questions. I'm here if you do. Okay, so... Oh, i got to add five things. Right, okay, jeez. Fine. We'll have another rug. We'll have this rug. Small one, please. No, a bigger one. That can be for people going up the stairs to wipe their feet. There we go. Lovely. You can change the colour. A bit black. Kind of. Okay. What else are we going to have? I guess we'll have... We could put our table back that we broke. Change colour. Does this count? No. They've got to be wall decorations. Oh, great. Yeah, we'll just have a bunch more paintings then. It's the same painting. I want the same painting, jeez. Good work. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's move on. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change okay. the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Good. Let's get started, shall we? Yep. Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Hmm. Okay. Nail dead. Just aim your wand at any com Can we use the uh, altering spell to alter people? And perform turn the them into altering rabbits. spell to customize it. 
Alter the style of an item, change the color of an item, adjust the size of an item, no problem, we got this. Turn it black. Move it back a bit. Nice. Perfect. Okay, alter the style of an item. Boom. Nailed it. Just the size of an item. Well, this thing's too big, isn't it? Make it small. And let's move it out of the way, because it's... Des it's desperately in the way there. Desperately. Uh... I just want to put it out of the way. There. Perfect. Nicely done. Lovely. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use yeah, I want to put this in the corner. Directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Put that back to what it was. What have I got to do? Alter the balcony or the floor of the room. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Oh, dear. You seem to have a problem there, bud. Oh, I like that one. It's, very, it's a bit slithering, that one, though. Hmm. Uh, I do like it, though. And it's black. It matches my aesthetic. Yeah, we're going to go for... Uh, I think we need to move the telescope. Getting in the way of... What's his... Deke's name. Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Come and talk to Deke when you're ready. And make it all match. Black. Could we make the floor change colour? We can. Oh. Everything black. Do it all black. Black. That thing. Black. Nice. Oh, I can change the visuals as well. Oh man, I shouldn't be having so much fun as this, but I am. Uh, it's a weird tree beard, dude. Change all that as well. Oh man. Botanical, eclectic, gothic. I think we're going gothic, guys. Change colour. Black. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do... I want to do that. Thing behind it. Oh, nice. Okay. I think I've fiddled about enough here. Crack on. I've got to speak to Deke now, have I? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Apparently gothic and black. The cool moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that's dark and mysterious. Yeah, it's like dark and mysterious. I feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Wow. Okay, maybe that's a bit dark. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of Indeed. Course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Change it back, Deke. Too dark. About alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh, what's going on there? We got a new room? Oh, we've ex- what? We've expanded our room already? What? Two rooms of requirement. Three rooms of requirement. We got a whole house. We live at Hogwarts, bro. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spellcasting. 
If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Nice. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I will. No problem. I'm going to be using it as the wisestly wise thing. So I got myself a little house elf. I'd like I to got ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of big course. room. Uh, what sort of overall look most... Just let me pick. Uh, I want... I want to try the, room to the moonlit feel. wrong. Oh, sounds bad. Can I skip? Nope. Oh, that's got a very cool vibe to it. I bet that looks good if I turned ray tracing back on. Oh, yeah, I like that. So what's through here then? There's a load more stuff I can delete, get some money back. A room here, some tables and chairs. Oh, nice. We got a room of requirement. Oh, these are all the wrong color. Jeez. Well, we'll come back to that later on. I'm not too fussed about <laughs> decorating the room of requirement too much when we've got all of our quests and things to do. But it looks, does look like potentially it's going to expand even further in the future. So we've got all of that to look forward to too. But unfortunately, peeps, not in today's episode. So as usual, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.